Hello little artist, I'm Mariana Olson and today we are drawing a folding surprise basket. Are you ready? Let's do this. Ok, we are going to need paper, something to color with and using markers and then something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. We are going to start folding the paper in half. Then we are going to take the bottom part and fold in half again. Now we are going to flip it over and fold one more time. And then we're gonna open it, we're gonna flip it, and we're gonna start drawing right here. Okay, little artist, let's start this picture. And the first thing we're gonna do is open the paper this way, it's gonna open to the top. And well, let's start on the outside and doing the bow of the basket. I'm gonna leave the space of two fingers and I'm gonna do an oval shape, just like that. And in each side, we're going to do a U-shape, really long. This is the, the left side and in the right side. Okay. And here, we're going to do a curve that goes down. That goes from the top to the U-shape, down. And it connects with the oval shape. Yeah. And we're going to touch the half part of the oval shape. Underneath, we're going to put one more. So I want to start here on the middle and connect to the top. Okay, here in the middle and then go to the top. And the last thing we're going to do the strings here, we're going to do one more curve in the center here, another one. Then we're going to go to the left and to the right and then we're going to connect to the top. And if you notice, I still have a space in between the folding part and the bow. The next thing will be start the basket. On this side, I'm going to leave three finger space. And from the center of the bow, I'm going to go down and connect with the folding. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Leave three fingers and in the center, we're going to go down and connect to the folding part. So I'm doing this to leave the same space in each side. Now here we're going to do this line double, leaving a space in between and we're going to go down and leaving a space, we're going down and there, that's the top of the basket. Next thing, we're going to do the bottom and we're going to start here, crossing the folding part underneath the folding part and we're going to do a curve in each side and we're going to connect them and to make this easy, we're going to rotate the paper and we're going to press the marker against the paper to go a little bit more straight. Now you can use a ruler if you want to, that's okay. Here we're going to do some lines, they're going to go in a diagonal way to the right, just to give texture to the basket. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom and I'm going to start with two little lines. Here, one in the left side and the other one in the right side. And I'm going to join them with a little curve on each side. And now we can rotate the paper again to connect from side to side. So now this is my basket. I want to do eyes in this basket. You can leave it without an eyes or put some texture here too, like crossing lines. But here, where I'm going to do two big eyes. So I'm going to start with an oval shape. I want to do a smile and the other oval shape. And I like to fill my uh, eyes with black. You can uh, do these eyes differently. And I'm leaving a space on the top just to give a little bit of a shine to the eye. Now let's open the paper. And let's connect the handle with the bottom part. And this is the same. You can press the marker really hard against the paper to go straight or you can use a ruler for this part. So I'm crossing here the folding part and going down and connect to the bottom. Now let's do the same here. Let's repeat these steps with the other line, crossing the folding part and going down here the same thing. Now let's work on the bottom. The first thing I'm going to do is the uh, Easter eggs. Let's do some, uh, a little bit of a grass. 
and we're gonna start doing some triangles they go in different directions and are different sizes some of them point to the center and some of them point to the right or to the left on behind this grass we're gonna do the easter eggs i'm gonna start doing oval shapes and these oval shapes can also point to different sizes and you can make as many as you want now i want to continue with the bunny in the folding part here i want to do a curves line that is going to be the line of the head it's a little curvy so now let's connect to the bottom and mine is connecting here with a sister egg yours can look differently now let's go down in the other side and connect okay it's going in behind whatever you have there now let's do the face and we're going to start with the nose with a little triangle and underneath this triangle we're going to do two u shapes this is the mouth and underneath we're going to do a square shape for the teeth and in the middle we're going to put a line so now let's do the eyes and let's start with the two oval shapes one and two and i'm leaving a good space in between the nose and the eyes and i'm filling these ones with black to finish let's do the ears and in the middle we're gonna do a u shape an upside down letter u and this one will go really close to the basket and inside i'm gonna do another one and i'm cruising the folding part i'm going up here really close to the basket going down and let's do the next one in the middle and there that's it we finished this easter basket with a bunny inside let's take a look how it looks when we close it and this is how it looks when we open i hope you liked this lesson and i hope it was easy for you to follow and now my favorite part is coming Let's color it! Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how my basket turned out and with the colors I choose. Let's take a look how it looks when we open. And here is my Easter bunny with the Easter eggs. Remember, you can change all these colors and put something in the background. Also, you can change the color of the bunny. I make my look like chocolate bunny. And on the basket, I add some white spots with a permanent marker that is white, but you can also leave those spaces without color if you don't have the marker. So, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step by step like this one. See you next time!